I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Sterling and Carla so respond to Krishan's rant after comments made about Junior's eyes. It's so sad to witness that he don't got his grandmother, you feel me? So it's like, for you to talk about somebody's baby's be- baby eyes being far apart, it's okay. He's never going to miss you. He don't know you. So it's cool. That's why he got his grandfather downstairs and our parents in Baltimore. Three. Hours later. Hold on, because my blood is boiling. I'm not about to be saying what I got to say twice. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Blood is boiling. Boiling. And don't get on here talking about this damn wig either. I have never in my life used the word ever in my life. That's not even a word I use. Okay? If I ever would have used the word I might have called Cali Blue or Dre retarded. I would never call nobody's kids retarded. She's a liar and ain't no truth in her. And you trying to use me to come out and say what's wrong with your baby. Don't try to use me. Don't try to use me talking about I called your baby retarded. I said, my eyes are far apart. So you see how she's over there feeling guilty, trying to make it like I'm talking about my own, my own possible grandchild? That's exactly why I won't never f*** with her or that baby. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what my mama say <laughs> or my daddy. Because you see how quick she tried to say that I said something, calling the baby retarded? My eyes are far apart. Yes or no, y'all? My eyes far apart, right, babe? My eyes are far apart. Am I right? I said his eyes is far apart like mine. (laughs) (laughs) They're not. Shut the fuck up. They're not. Jonathan's eyes are closer together. Y'all see how far apart my eyes are? I love my eyes this far apart. She's trying to say that I said her baby is because I said his eyes are far apart like mine you see that she want to come out and say what's wrong with him but she want to use me to try to get clout and then make people feel sorry for her again try to make people mad at me about calling the kid your tongue gonna be forever tied because you keep trying to lie steal and destroy you ain't learning nothing yet you ain't learning nothing Never would I ever say that. I wouldn't care if that baby had to wear a helmet. I done told y'all I'll put my helmet on right with him and be like, let's go, boss. <laughs> Why is this <he> so stupid? <laughs> he will be the, the smartest helmet wearing person at the schoolhouse, okay? I would do my best to make my child or my grandchild feel whole, even if something was wrong with them. They would never know. They would still be a boss, okay? We would go above and beyond trying to make sure that he felt just as good as everyone else over here. We would never call no baby retarded. Oh, he over here with his granddaddy. What did the granddaddy tell you? He almost gone in the goddamn uh, swimming pool at the hotel while he on the phone arguing. That's why Jaden don't let him watch her kids. You done popped in a picture with people you don't even know. And because you feel like your family is so f***ed up that maybe ours ain't. Girl, we got some shit going on in our family too. Don't be running around here talking about granddaddies. Girl, if that man was anywhere where he was supposed to be, Jonathan wouldn't be in the situation he in, okay? I went and got that man and told him it's your turn to go over there and let the Power Ranger beat your ass and go in there and check on our son. Now, I had to go force him to damn near do that. Woke him up out of his bed in Vegas and told him to come check on your son. You see what I'm saying? He didn't just volunteer. So he ain't just volunteering to be over there for the free rent right now, okay? Don't ever get life twisted. I'm not fixing to ignore nobody in here talking about, oh, yeah, they got their granddaddy. Bitch, that motherfucker. 
uncle was on child support. <coughs> that ain't no granddaddy. He got two grandkids by his daughter. Now, you know when your daughter got grandkids, them the mother supposed to be in your, on your Facebook, on your Instagram. But yet, we don't see him in no pictures with none of his daughter's grandkids. Why would that be? Because ain't no clout over there. That has been clout chasing off my child since the beginning. Don't come talking to me about no goddamn granddaddy. That mother robbed my son as soon as he signed his deal. Don't come in here talking to me about no granddaddy. When I didn't get to eat some nights, that motherfucker was somewhere with some bitches eating. He gonna do you just as, just how my son gonna do you, just how his daddy did. That's what they do. That's how, that's where they come from, okay? So don't say I didn't tell you. When he get out, he not finna fuck with you. Probably gonna do it for a couple days, a couple months, okay? But he gonna do just like his daddy did. You see his daddy with some woman, half his age, with three little ass kids don't even probably know who the daddies is now how the f that mother f with us he's 60 years old with a goddamn little girl with three kids you talking about his granddaddy with him girl you finna f your son up that's what you finna do you finna f your child up you don't see Jaden leaving her kids with the mother f do you so keep the granddaddy downstairs and don't try to use no granddaddy against me because what no granddaddy finna give your child the love that I was <laughs> Wasn't no, the, the granddaddy that was finna give your child the love that he needed is right here in this motherfucking bed, okay? Because all these kids come and go when they want to up over here, okay? They got a place to go. Girl, because Mr. Sterling was there when Javon almost, he underwater. We don't even know how long. Dre just don't take his eyes off kids. I raised Dre that way. Watch my kids at all times. So when Dre is amongst the kids, he's surfing. His eyes are surfing on kids all day long. So when he didn't see one, two, three, he looked for Javon. Where's Javon? He looked underwater. Javon is under the water, y'all. Looking up like this. Okay? Dre pulls Javon out of water. He gets his breath of air, his mama, his daddy, and the person that was supposed to be watching him is on the phone arguing with one of his women about throwing his stuff out of a Section 8 apartment, okay? Don't get on here talking to me about no grandparents. Y'all don't have no grandparents like me. They don't make them no more. Yo weird ass on here talking about granddaddy with them. Girl, you better go down there with your baby. Don't take your eyes off your baby and put your purse up too. <laughs> now don't get on here no more talking about me being no not being no grandparent your son will never in his life see a grandparent like me never in his life because when i went and picked out a husband i went and picked out a husband for their kids okay <laughs> when i would have got a husband i made sure he was cool with grandkids what you talking about? <laughs> Girl, you got the wrong one. You got the wrong motherfucking one. And you don't know us like that. We all just met you. We don't know you like that. We don't know y'all like that. And you don't know us like that. So you will want to ask the matriarch of this family who you could trust with your kids. Now that mother got two other grandkids by his daughters. Okay. You don't see them mother is on this page with him cooing with the blue fingernail polish trying to go viral don't ever come at me about no grandparents okay you tried that shit with my weird ass friend who don't even see her fucking grandkids you keep trying weird shit to try to get a rise out of me because you know i love my grandkids because you know i love my kids and because you never had that you want to keep trying to destroy it you only taking from your own child it ain't nobody on this mother planet that would have treated your child the way I would period it ain't nobody who would come and go and do what you do for your child except for me and this goddamn family no she on her snapchat she ain't ignoring me she on her motherfucking snapchat talking shit about me this morning for what instead of just saying um ma'am I should have never said I want you to I should have never said I want your son. That was so disrespectful and irresponsible of me. I apologize. And I know you is a good grandma to these kids. And I want my son to have that too. That's really what you wanted to say. And that's what you should have said. Because I might have accepted that. You run around here playing, trying to, like, I'm going to be jealous. Girl, I got 9 11 grandkids already. 
And my sister's got overflow if I need to go get some of theirs. So you can use me for clout. I don't mind that because your shit running dry. I don't mind that. We can go back and forth like we've been doing. But don't get on here talking about I've called my grandbaby Talking about you ain't going to never see him. He got my mama and my daddy. Girl, that's about good as that granddaddy you got going on over there, okay? That's as good as it's going to get. I don't know your people. I'm just telling you what, about me, okay? Talking about it's a, such a shame he ain't going to get to know his grandma. You done kicked me in my head and I done still pulled up. And if they take your ass to jail, I'm going to go fight for your child and make sure that don't nobody, that make sure that everybody treat him right. I'm, if, if you go to jail, I'm still going to go fight for mine. That's when you going to learn. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.